Since the crisis unfolded in the Central African Republic in 2013, some of the places that have been most affected by the violence have been schools. It's not surprising that armed groups want to occupy schools. In many instances, they are the best buildings in a village. They have good roofs, they have good concrete floors, they don't leak when the rains come. According to our research, the armed group that has most affected the schools is the Seleka. This is a rebel alliance that turned the country upside down in 2013. <laughs> So, I'm going to go to the group of the army. So, for the Seleka, it's completely normal to have men either posted outside or in schools. But we've also documented other groups that have negatively affected schools. Anti-Balaka groups in the southern part of the country, they used a school for many, many months last year as a base and basically destroyed it. We've also noted in a couple instances peacekeepers from the UN mission occupying schools, but they did eventually vacate them. In 2015, the interim government in the Central African Republic signed the Safe Schools Declaration. The national government, with international partners such as the Peacekeeping Mission from the UN, should do their utmost to ensure that schools are safe places where kids can learn. Children in the Central African Republic have lost years of their lives to this conflict, and now that there's some degree of stability in some of the areas, they really need to make sure that kids can get back to school. <laughs> Mm -hmm.